Hello and welcome to the next video in the Thermoplastics versus Thermoset video series. In this video, we're going to be looking at the common uses and products for both thermosets and thermoplastics. So let's start with thermoplastics and some common uses for the most common plastics. So we've got nylon or polyamide or PA as it's known. So mechanical and automotive parts, clothing, packaging, cupboard hinges, heat resistant composite manufacturing. Polyethylene or PE. We've got drums, gas tank coating, milk bottles, squeezy bottles, jugs, movable machine parts, bullet resistant vests, laundry detergent containers. Acrylic or PMMA. We have battery covers, lightweight glass alternatives, vehicle tail light covers, eye lenses, and can be used as bone cement in medicine. Polypropylene or PP. Some common products here are toys, sanitary tissues, heat proof medical equipment, rope, string, plastic seats, laboratory equipment, detergent proof food containers, automobile components and folders, We've got polyvinyl chloride or PVC. Some common parts here are cabinets, fume hoods, tanks, electrical insulation, toys, pipes, fittings, flooring, and medical devices. And Teflon or PTFE. In this section, we have flange spaces, gaskets, non stick cookware, machine parts, gears, wires, and lubricant for sliding doors. Here is a set of images of thermoplastic common uses. So we have a clip used in automotive loom assemblies for the nylon part. For polyethylene, we've got a standard drum or a container. An acrylic, we have a glass light looking shelf. And the Teflon, we have low friction flanges and washers. Let's jump into the thermoset and some common parts produced out of thermoset polymers. Polyurethanes or PU. We've got paint, coatings, insulating foams, car parts, print rollers, footwear, sealants and adhesives. Epoxy resin, we've got aircraft components, tooling jigs and fixtures, coatings, adhesives for automobiles, marine vessel parts, Electronic components. Melamine formaldehyde. We have adhesives, coatings, laminates, dinnerware, electrical components, knobs, household items, construction material, and furniture making. Urea formaldehyde. We have plywood foam, electrical items, doorknobs, toilet items, adhesives, chemical inert coatings, paper, plastic mouldings, and decorative articles. Polyester resin, we've got casting materials, non-metallic car body fillers, electrical components, reinforced plastic sheets used in restaurants and kitchens, low-care walls, laser printer toners, and bonding materials. Bakelite, we have precision-made parts, vehicle and disc brake cylinders, knobs, plastic wear, electrical products and insulation, plugs and sockets, automotive parts, light bulb supports, and kitchenware handles. You can see here some images of thermoset products. Melamine, we have the low-cost dinnerware. Urea formaldehyde, this is used to produce electrical products. Here we have uh, a socket facing. Polyester resin, most commonly used in non-metallic car fillers. And Bakelite, we've already seen this in a previous video where we've got some nice gear stick knobs. Don't forget to check out our other videos in this series. And you can always contact us if you need any help with your projects in China. For more specialized information, visit our resources library in the Learning Center. My name is Paul Adams from Sophist, and I shall see you in the next video. Oh.